Welcome back for day two, everyone. We've actually started the other end of the park today. If you're a hotel guest, as long as you've got your booking reservation with you, you can get in via Galactica. And there was a long queue for the monorail to get to the main entrance today, so we were like, it would take too long to queue, then get on the monorail, and then get to the front of the park, when we could just walk 10 minutes and enter here. It's actually only quarter past nine, so none of the rides are open yet. We've got 15 minutes to disperse in the park and find out where we're starting. Let's go. We are riding through a strange area here. So we've decided to skip the rides. We're gonna go for a house viewing at this Alton Manor. There's a lot of people here, there's a lot of competition. But we're here is really good value. So Wish us luck. Started with the curse again and going around the second time, there's actually it's worth going around multiple times, there's lots of things you can really notice. We yeah, okay. hate the queue was empty, so they have to have a proper look at the actual opening and get the full story that they tell you in the little first bit of the building where the same bit where Jules starts inside. We were also at the front this time and there were no one behind us, so in the end when we didn't speak there were no other noise at all, which was really cool. And on the first ride I sat in the middle and then I sat on the side the second time. I think it's a lot better to sit on the side because there are some effects that are coming on the sides and I didn't think much of it in the middle, but when you are actually on the side it does bring something. Yeah, I noticed at one point there's a picture of Pinocchio on the wall, which I think is a reference to the liars. And then also as you go around, actually loads of it's puppetry, like yeah. where she's turning you into puppets. So this is a big time to the whole Pinocchio lying thing they're going with there. And the tunnel that spins, which is also on Jewel, um, that is where you're meant to get shrunk down, I worked out this time. That's probably really obvious when we read it just once, but I didn't work it out until the second time. Um, yeah, the story goes right through the ride. It is. Just, I love storytelling rides, and this does storytelling really well. But if you can get the time spent in the queue in the building and get the actual very opening part of the story, they do go through a little bit in some of the signs in the actual outside bit of the queue. But to get the full visual bit in the queue, if you can take maybe five minutes to watch that, it's really good. Like it really starts the ride off amazingly. I'm really impressed with the actors as well because, yeah. like, they take part in this really well. Yeah, the guys who came in was like, please consider buying it. <laughs> okay. If it's not haunted, I will. Um, I just because we interacted with him as well. Yeah. I told him like we're here to visit the house. Yeah, and he's like, please consider buying it. <laughs> yeah, there's all, they're out right here now. You've got the grave diggers out in the gardener. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to look at the little shop. The shop is selling cursed uh, food items. So stuff themed to the ride to see what there is down there. The curse just broke down. We were incredibly lucky to have got on it first thing. Like, as we were getting food, there's all the doors closed, and they're like, Yeah, can you tell anybody who's on the ride that can get fast tracks for something else? I'm like, Okay. Yeah, we got um, the slice of black web cake and a coach cupcake. Or is it coach house cupcake? One of the two. So, full green goo. And in the middle of that one, too. So, We'll see what they taste like. The jelly in those cakes was surprisingly mint flavor, which I didn't expect. Um, and also, I've been sitting here, the curse has reopened, so people are lucky.
I don't know where the ghosts go to buy stamps. They go to the ghost office. <laughs> get it? I get it. Impressive. That was really cool. They have an information section about the Beluga Whale Sanctuary in Iceland. And apparently they eat calorie-wise equivalent of 150 chocolate bars a day. Challenge accepted. Now we had the perfect time going in there. At the very end, the moreal just became active. Like, how many times have you seen moreals in zoos and they just sort of sit there or they're hiding in the holes you don't see them at all? And if it all came out, turned round, it was like, for a nocturnal animal that is very active in the aquarium. I may never do that again today. I might be like, the only time it does that. So. And if you want to go to a zoo and uh, an aquarium anywhere with like animals, you should go with Darren. Because today, fun fact of the day, uh, all cats are dolphins. Yeah, fun fact. Orcas are a species of dolphin, not whale. Hit that way with you. Right, back into the theme park. Yay! As the sun has blessed us, we're gonna jump on battle galleys and enjoy the nice weather. I think we had, I think we had more fun in the queue than on the ride Definitely. itself. Like in the queue, we stopped and shot everyone on the boat. And we're on the boat, like nobody in the queue. Or they all ran past. Like ah, okay, we're never going to shoot anybody. But at the very end, the family behind us on the other side of the boat had a lot of fun with the family on the dock, and we're just shooting each other. So that was funny to see, even though we didn't get to take part in it. 
it needs a lot of people to be able to enjoy Battle Galleons, but when there are other people on there, it is it's hilarious. Yeah, yeah, Our spin jam, which we also did with Paul last year, is one of the few retro riders that gone to Walter instead of has gone for some reason. But I love spin jam, I like spinning rides, and I'm now very dizzy, and my hair's a bit of a mess as well from how much I spin. Yeah, I had a different experience because for me the start was quite fun, it was nice, but after I feel like I, I know I don't really like spinning, so in the end it's been really, 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 really fast. And that was a bit that didn't really like. Yeah, see, I prefer that bit when I go scream when you go faster. I think people could see on my face I wasn't happy yeah. at the end. So she preferred the slower bit and I preferred the faster bit. I was like, no, I don't like this. <laughs> it could be boring if it was just the first bit, yeah. but the second bit is too brutal too for me. Okay, yeah. I think that's the more fun bit. So we were going to go on Oblivion, but one of Anna's other bits is like vertical drop falling. So we're going to skip it because she faced that fear of spinning. Uh, we're now either going to go Smiler or Rita. Possibly Smiler if it's close. No, I think Oblivion's so short for the time you spend queuing, it's not worth it. You spend more time on the chain lift, but that's just me. Um, yeah, Smiler's got a 60 minute queue, Rita's only got a 40 minute, but Smiler's obviously next to us. So we we'll see. see Smiler? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Smiler. So we escaped the dark forest. I've not done Rita in a very long time. I still think this is better than stealth yeah, as Thor okay. Park because all this stuff is faster and does the whole up and down. This is longer and I think I prefer the twisting. If you do have speed, yeah. yeah, it's cool. The launch is really intense. What's the thing of the launch? Yeah, it's really intense. Yeah. It's really good. It just catches you every time. It's amazing. We're going to take advantage of the sun now though and head back over to the rapids, which we just there actually do them in the sunny weather. Yeah. decided that the Rapids is the most dangerous ride here. They loaded us with another couple so we just sat in like next to each other rather than opposite seats. And when we hit the bank, it just bashed our legs 
into the metal part and my left leg actually hurts a little my bit right now. My leg really hurts. Yeah. We're going to have gonna, bruises. Yeah, we're going to get bruises from this. Yeah. So if you want a, like, a nice easy ride that, that's safe, not the run. Or just sit separately or in the same section. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's like we did yesterday. Yeah, that's true. That, that's the smart one. Yeah. Um, the curse only has a five minute key, so we're gonna go for round three on it and see what else we notice new. Curse time three. Exactly. And even this time I've noticed new things. I think I could write this all day and do something new. There's like loads of little references. I called these like the Pinocchio thing last time. This time, there's a box of matches in the dollhouse with just Bjorn written on them. A reference to the Wicker Man. It matches fire and it's the name of the tribe. And we, uh, that's a nice reference for another ride. I like things like that a lot. That's really subtle and easily not noticed. But it's a nice just little nod to tie everything here together. I like it. It's really nice. And the thing I've not mentioned on the previous two times that has been impressed me every time is the use of UV lighting with like paint. So like how there's just text and it appears on there but the UV lights and suddenly you scribble all over the walls and it just disappears. Oh, it just look like magic. But it's just the use of UV light really changes the whole set instantly the second it happens. I love it. Yeah. And you know what? I've gone it for the fifth, sixth time. I probably would see something new each time. I've just got to keep going on it to keep seeing new things. But I'm hoping the Bjorn thing isn't the only reference to other rides. It'd be nice if there was more, but I don't know definitely at this point. We've got just over an hour left and we're going to do our best to fit in 13 and the Wicker Man before we do. We've got 40 minutes, apparently, for 13. And is it 40 for the Wicker Man? Say? No, it was an hour. Oh, an hour. Okay. We might better fit them both in if we're lucky. We screwed 13 in. We have just over half an hour to try and get the Wicker Man in, and then we're done. So, rush back to the Wicker Man. So we managed to squeeze in one final call on the Wicker Man. We popped the shops again on the way out, and yeah. We did it again. We did it again. So let's see what we get this time. Probably not the same as yesterday. Where is it? Doesn't have the same color. I think okay. it's a red. It is the Wicker, Wicker Man. Man. You got your favorite one. Yes, oh, cool. okay, that's really nice. <laughs> what did I get? Oh. Well, I'm really happy for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That or 13 I was hoping you were going to get. Oh yeah, 13 would have been good. Yeah. This is a blue one. Oh, don't be Colossus. No, Colossus was really smooth though, wasn't it? Have a look. Oh. Galactica. Galactica. Oh, okay, I can go for Galactica, yeah. Yeah. So we've got different ones every time. Yeah. Oh, I like I'm that. really glad you got the Wicked yeah. Man. So this time, we really tried to not get the same ones again. So we spent our time to like feel them. Details, feel yeah. different ones. Well, this one has a bumpy corner. That's got to yeah. be different. The other one's like felt really textured. And you're like, yeah, if you want to get like you got the really thing. bumpy step in the middle. There we go. Fantastic. Anyway, thank you for joining us for our two days at Olden Towers, guys. We will see you again, whatever the next adventure is. Bye! Bye.